Hello guys, this is Debbie again from One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today I want to talk about how we as parents, we can help our adult children when they are new into the workforce. We need to help them in filling out some of the requirements, some of the documents, uh, you know, the companies that when you start, you have to fill out your health insurance, your life insurance, your 401k, and it's, it's just so much. Being a new teenager or an adult, a, a young adult starting his or her first job or even a second job, it's our place as parents to help them because learning from what I have experienced I've decided to share and I'll keep on sharing a lot of things that I have learned, um, the ups and downs after the loss of my daughter. We need to advise, I know there's some single parents out there, single mothers, single um, fathers also out there. We need to help our kids to know how to fill this paperwork when they start to work, when they get a new job. I, for one, it's um, a month before my daughter passed away. For some reason, I was sitting at home and I said, you know what? I need to let my kids know some certain things. I wrote down account numbers of the, the bank accounts that I have, you know, just different financial things that I had. I wrote each, I wrote everything down. I wrote the account number. I even put the passwords, I put balances on some of the accounts, and I emailed it to my two um, oldest daughters. That's a month before my daughter passed away. But the, the reason I'm bringing this up again is because of my experience. So if you are a single parent out there and you have an adult child, you want to sit with them and discuss their personal directives. I know as Africans who are scared to talk about wills, oh no, don't talk about that. Oh yes, it's the reality in life with all one day going to die. And majority of the time as a parent, you always feel that, you know what? Um, my kids will be the ones to bury me. But in my case, it didn't work that way. My daughter passed away. I, as a parent, I buried my daughter. So we got to learn to share some of this information. And I'm not saying that if you have an adult child who is married, you're going to go do that. No, because when they are married, they have their spouses. They can sit together and that's their family. But if you have a, a, a daughter, an adult an adult child, a son, a daughter, and they're alone. Help them, work with them, and let them know that these are the things that are important in life. And when you organize those things, I'm telling you, coming from my experience, your life will be so easy. There are some parents, there's some there's some parents out there. Mothers, fathers who don't care about their children. Some will not even want to pay child support. I'm not with this child's mother anymore. I'm not with this child's father anymore. How can we help to make sure things are good? And you as a single mother or a single father, you're struggling every day. If there's any single parent, a mother or a father, listen to what I'm saying. Because this is coming from an experience. What I want you guys to know is when your child starts a new job, when they're filling out, let's say, their life insurance policies, advise them on how to, to fill that information out. Because when it's not filled out correctly and something happens to your child, to your son, to your daughter, there are some evil I, I would say evil parents out there that they don't care about what you as a single mother or a single father went through 
lifting that child up. If you're a single mother, you're a single father, what that insurance company would do first, they want to find out the surviving parents. If the surviving parents are not, they want to find out the surviving siblings. Advise your kids how to fill out their life insurance when they start a new job, when they transfer to a different job. Because if you don't do that, you have lots of headache. The insurance company will not say, oh, you know what? Um, or, you, or you will not tell the insurance company that I've been the only one struggling with this child. I don't know where the mother is. I haven't heard from the mother. I haven't heard from the father. I don't know where he is. No, they don't do that. That's not by law. They're not supposed to do that. But if your child, while filling out that document and designate that, you know what? I'm putting my mother's name alone on this paperwork. I'm putting my father's name alone on this paperwork. Or I'm just putting, I'm putting my mother and my siblings. Or I'm putting my father and my siblings. It makes life very easy. Because if it's not, Whatever money your deceased child is getting is being shared between the both living parents. But if your deceased child had written, put it down in writing that, oh, I just want my dad, my dad to be the one to, to collect this in case I pass away. We got to learn to read we get to find out how to, to help our young adults um, because sometimes they don't know. I personally, I didn't know all this. So I'm here to help whoever is out there that you sit down and ask your daughter, ask your son, you just started this new job. How did you fill out? Does your job provide life insurance? Do they provide 401k? As parents, I'm telling you, Start to have this conversation, have this discussion with your kids. It may be something really hard to discuss, but nobody's going to run away from this because death is something that will happen to every human being so long as you're living. So it's better to sit down now and discuss the things that are important so that down the road, you won't be going from one end to another looking for solutions. Because again, there's some parents out there that don't care. Some will not even want to know where their child is buried. But when they receive that money from the insurance company, they take it. They won't come and say, oh, 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 Miss Jones, I'm sorry that you were the only one who took care of this child. I'm sorry that I wasn't there. I received this from the insurance company. Here, you can use this to help with other things that you're going through. So every single parent out there, listen, you got to do this. Talk to your children. Again, with everything that I've said, we just got to remember, be open to have this difficult conversation with your children who are out there walking. Um, it's something that I know, I know it's going to help a single parent out there. It can help a single mother, a single father, or whoever is out there that they're struggling hard to raise a child. We have to learn about estate planning. We have to learn about personal directives. We have to learn about how to encourage. It's an encouragement. It's something that you sit down. Make, create time for that. Yes, we're all happy that our children, they're successful, they have this good job, but documentation is very important because it's a law, it's the law. We got to know, we got to, we got to read, we got to find out things. It's just so many things out there that we got to learn to 
to, um, to help ourselves, help our children and entire family. I, for one, I make sure my kids, they have my passwords on my phone, on my computer, because nobody knows. I'm sitting here today, my daughter's computer, I have it, but I cannot log into it. I know that's her privacy, that's the child's privacy, but we got to start talking about death, just like we're talking about life. We're happy, we're doing birthdays, we're, we're traveling, we're having all this fun. We should learn to talk about those difficult things because I'm telling you, if you don't do it now that you're healthy, you're alive, when that time comes, it will be a rough journey. Please do not forget to subscribe. You click that notification button. Each time that I put out a video, you'll be the first to know. And please don't forget to share. We're here to help each other. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours.